All right, let's talk about how you can safely start to bench press for baseball so that way you can keep your shoulder healthy, improve your throwing velocity, um, and just get some strength in the weight room for you guys, okay? So again, bench press has been correlated with better throwing velocities, especially if you're a youth and developmental athlete. So if you're kind of middle school, high school, really getting your technique down and learning how to bench press safely is going to help you build some strength in muscles around your shoulder so you can possibly you know, help you throw faster, harder, all that fun stuff, all right? I'm gonna show you two ways to do bench press safely. First one is we are going to do it from the pins, all right? And there's main reasons why I like these. All these three things have three things in common. So one is that they're gonna teach you uh, to get comfortable under the weight safely and, and work on your technique. Two is that it's going to teach you, or it's gonna show us your weakness. So meaning when you start to press, we can see if we have weakness in our shoulder, in our lats, in our triceps, depending on where we're failing on the lift, all right? And lastly, we can adjust the height. So meaning we can uh, start to build strength at different levels. You know, a lot of baseball players are worried about the very bottom of the bench press. So we can even start you off of that so you don't have that stress in your shoulder, all right? So those are the three main ways why you should be doing these uh, type of exercises. First method is going to be a rack press. So basically we're just gonna lock out the bench press from a static start um, using these pins, all right? So all you're gonna do is get underneath your weight, get set up with proper technique. There's a whole different video on that. We're not gonna cover that right now. But anyways, get, a, get your grip and then drive your feet in and lock out your bench press. Come back down, completely reset. You can rest, reset your shoulders so they're nice and safe and then get a new rep, all right? So that's kind of part number one on how you safely do the rack press. And again, we can adjust the height, all that other fun stuff. Second one is we are gonna do an isometric, a pin press. So all we're gonna do is drive the bar into something that we can't move. So we're just gonna use these J hooks on the squat racks. You can use the bottom of the spotter arms. Again, you can even, if you're doing a partner bench press, put a very, very light weight and just even have a, a teammate or a friend just hold you isometrically if you're pushing hard, but he's not letting you come up. So uh, all you do is set the height. Again, we're just gonna do this here for quickness of the video. And then all I'm gonna do is try to get underneath the, the bar or get underneath the spot and I'm just gonna apply force as hard as I can like I'm trying to bench press the entire rack out of the ground just pushing the whole time and then I'm gonna rest and then you know you can do it for a couple of different sets of reps the key again for you guys is just to apply force as hard as you can that all that matters is that you're pushing with all that you've got and from there again we can see if your technique is breaking down set different heights for you guys um, but that's how you get the most out of that exercise all right sets of reps for you guys let's keep it simple let's just say three sets if you're a younger developmental guy uh, from the the rack lockout position, we can do anywhere from five to 10 reps, I'd say. And if you are doing the isometric pin press into the bottom of the pins, you wanna go anywhere from about five to 10 seconds, again, of maximal force exertion. All right, guys, hit that like button for me and subscribe, appreciate you checking out the video. Uh, do you think bench pressing is safe for baseball players? If you have a comment or opinion, if you agree, disagree, let me know down below. And of course, we got your free four week speed strength power workout down in the link here below. Hit the link and I will send that free workout to you guys today.